Meanwhile, all that is left now are the memories. The SS St. Clair, one of the two Boblo boats, went up in flames this afternoon, leaving nothing but a hollowed out shell. Yeah, now take a live look at the wreckage from Sky 4. You can see the extensive damage this fire did to the boat, and now we're learning what may have caused it. And from the reaction we've seen today, so many folks are just sad over losing this yeah. relic of good times had by thousands of Metro Detroiters. Uh, let's bring in Sean Lay, who's live on the Detroit River with a different perspective of the destruction that we're seeing. But this went really quickly, Sean. Oh, we were here when it did go up. So much history going up in flames. So many great memories. We're on the Detroit River, as you mentioned. We want to give you at home a big view now of what the Boblo boat looks like at this very moment. Listing to one side, a lot of the boat on top there just destroyed. You see the Detroit fire boat putting so much water on it. It's listing. We're hearing that the boat may be grounded here in this shallow area of the Detroit River. Watching the boat go up in flames from just a few feet away at the marina. Two doctors who bought the boat, who were putting money into it to restore it, and their plans it just was not to be. She's a Detroit icon, and, you know, with, we were hoping to bring her back. As the historic SS St. Clair, lovingly known by so many as the Bobolo boat burned, Ron Katu and his family watched. So many people's wonderful memories going up in flames, but also, Katu's dreams of restoring the boat was vanishing before his eyes. Katu and his partner, Saqib Nakadar, had been putting money into the boat and had big plans for the Bablo. It was all nostalgia, and I mean, and, and uh, you know, people calling us all the time and saying, when is the boat going to be done? I want to bring my kids, my grandkids, because this is where I, I, I met their grandfather, or, you know, it, the stories are endless. And, and, you know, to see her end up like this, a sad day for everybody, not just us. Local for photojournalist Alex Atwell took us on this wonderful tour of the Bobolo boat just two years ago. So many fond memories for thousands who took the boat for day trips to Bobolo Island. Since new decking has been installed, the plan was for tours to start in just months, then a haunted house and eventually a restaurant to bring new memories. Those plans going up in smoke. Even though we own the boat, but we know how much this boat means yeah, to a lot. We, we get calls all the time, people telling us, you know, emotional stories about how the, what the boat means to them. And um, it's just hard to see her like this right now. Back here live, take a look at your screen because the next fact we're learning out here is going to blow your mind. The captain of the Detroit Fireboat you're seeing right there, who brought the Detroit Fireboat up here to put the fire out on the Boblo boat, he used to be the captain of the Boblo boat, creating so many of those memories. So it had to be surreal for him to bring the fire boat here to put it out. A couple of other things, Devin and Kimberly, we want to point out since our last report, there was a call here that uh, the fire boat took too long to get here and should be manned 24-7, 365 days a week. One clarification we want to make, the river ice is over, so the fire boat is taken out of service. The Troy Fire Commissioner called us. He says they are working on uh, buying a second fire boat that would exclusively go to river rescue, so this boat could concentrate on fires as well. Again, we talked about memories coming up at 6 o'clock. Plenty of people came here to take pictures and to say goodbye to the Bob Lowe boat. We'll hear from them at 6. Well, Sean, you mentioned how quickly this went up, though. I imagine even if they could have gotten there sooner, uh, it would have been a tall order to contain the damage here, right? And there's a couple of things we're learning about that the owners said they had completely redid, have redone the wood of the Boblo boat. Uh -huh. And everyone that's been on there knows that woodworking and how it rotted. And then they took it out. So there's a lot of wood, a lot of fuel, and it just went. Fire department sources were watching along with us on ClickOnDetroit.com, the live video stream. Said those firefighters couldn't get anywhere near it. If they got on the dock, the Boblo boat could shift, the dock could break, they could go in the water. Yeah. And the uh, fire boat is a tug. It goes five knots. So we get, they call the crew, they get on the boat, and they come. So it does take a while yeah, to yeah. arrive. You're right. And, and just stunning that the captain of the one boat used to be the captain of the other. Amazing stuff. All right, Sean. Uh, all day long, we've been uh, reading, uh, re reflecting on so many of these memories of the Boblo boat that have been shared on ClickOnDetroit.com and our local for Facebook page. Yeah, so many memories yeah. indeed. And we've compiled a walk down memory lane with the Boblo boat for you. You can find a compilation of all the stories over the years on the boat, its history, and its restoration. Just click the link on the home page.